Hello everyone, today I want to show you guys Daytona USA Deluxe. This was originally released for Windows 95. I believe it is also compatible with Windows 98 as well. But uh, the further we get into the Windows NT versions, um, the game had some compatibility issues. Uh, but today, I'm showing you this game running on Windows 10. Of course, you may notice a little bit of a difference here. It's in higher resolution. Yes, you could choose uh, different resolutions for Windows 95 and 98, but as far as I know, like 720p and 1080p may have been difficult on those ancient operating systems. So yeah, today we are playing it on Windows 10. And of course we're getting right into the arcade mode and uh, you got six different times a day you can choose from here. Daytime, twilight, floodlit, midnight, dawn, and midsummer. The ones I like is daytime and floodlit. So floodlit, it's about nighttime and they have the track lights on. So it gives a neat little effect. And then of course daytime, the normal daytime mode that you're kind of used to in the arcade. So we're gonna just select daytime here. You've got many different cars to choose from here. Um, I, I forget what it's, oh, I think there's an exclusive car to this game and it's the Phoenix. I also forgot to mention the exclusive track to this game as well, which I will show you as after we, we play this race here. All right, so in this game, of course, um, you can change your options uh, by holding Alt and G. From there, you might want to press Alt again, and then use the arrow keys on your keyboard to select the different, the different selectable options on the screen. From there, you can change your difficulty, um, change the different game modes, uh, a whole bunch of different features. Now, I'd like to show you that, but there is some odd bugs with it as well. Sometimes it may crash to the desktop, and then you have to reopen it again, uh, usually using Alt-Tab to get to that window. And then when it gets to that window, you have to click on the game window first. Do not click on the options menu or it'll just go right back to the desktop. So do take that in with note there to do it that way. Now, of course, as you can see on the game here, uh, the graphics are pretty nice. Um, I think the cars look really good. They're pretty much like the arcade version. They may be a little bit more pol uh, poly polygonal uh, than the arcade version. Um, there's no shine effect of the windows up there, as you can see in the stadium. And the, that little uh, roulette thing we drive by doesn't really look graphically intense either. But nonetheless, I mean, in higher resolutions, this game looks fantastic. So you can change your camera mode, all that. I forgot to mention, yes, you can use the Xbox One controller in this game. So it's just fantastic. The joystick works perfectly with no issues. And of course, there you go. We got the brake going there. It's just amazing. The game is phenomenal. I've never played a Daytona US USA game up until this point. And I really hope to uh, hopefully have a Dreamcast version. That would be great or even tried the Xbox 360 version. Now, as far as uh, that goes, I think the one track in this game and the Phoenix car may be exclusive to this game only. So that's the only downside. I think, you know, like every version of Daytona may have something different or include something different that you won't get in any other version. Uh, yeah, like, um, as far as I know, Daytona USA for the Dreamcast has its own tracks as well. So yeah, it's pretty cool, you know, to try out that game. So yeah, um, it looks phenomenal. And you may want to know how I got this to work. Well, um, with Daytona USA, you actually have to patch the game first. Uh, get the latest and last part that per sorry, patch, that was ever released for the game. Uh, it adds um, DirectX support and supposedly updates the textures a tad. Um, yeah, 
You can actually change, uh, that's the one thing I forgot to mention. In the options, you want to change it to high poly. What I believe that does is allow you to play the game in a higher resolution, 640 by 480. And yeah, so we're upscaling to 1080p, but the textures are a lot clearer. And I now I'm going to mention that uh, hidden track, well not really hidden, but uh, the exclusive to this game. I believe it's Silver Ocean Causeway, so we're going to check out that one next. Maybe I'll try the floodlit of this track. Maybe I'll try a different car. I am not like the best at this game. Like Hornet, uh, the Hornet and the uh, Gallop car are pretty cool, but um, Phoenix I have a little bit of trouble with this car. We're gonna check it out. I believe that is the exclusive car to this game, so we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Now, again, as far as um, the high resolution goes, I had to use that patch, and then I used. Uh, DX Voodoo 2 or DG Voodoo 2. I will include uh, links to that in the um, description below. And you can actually hear the audio as well. Um, using it on Windows 10, there there's issues uh, if you decide to play the game using the CD audio. Now, I use a program called um, whoops, I uh, I underscore I-N-M-L-L dot D-L-L -L, I think that's what it's called if not you know you'll see it on the screen but uh, it allows me to use MP3s in the game which also makes the game a lot smaller in size which is kind of cool and so yeah that's why you can hear the the songs in this in this playthrough here so yeah you get the music you get to play in higher resolutions you get everything that you would have wanted out of this game back in 95, now on Windows 10. So even playing this nowadays on Windows 95 or 98, I think you may have some problems. I'm not really sure. I don't know much about those operating systems because, well, I did play on them, but I was a kid and really never, you know, went out of my way to mess around with them back then. Well, it seems like I'm doing pretty good on this track so far. And as you can see, the nice, lovely lighting effects are displayed wonderfully on the screen. Let's see if I can get first place on this track. This is, would be the first time getting first place. This game is fantastic, though. Like, you get the full arcade experience out of this game. As you can see, I'm not doing too well now. All the cars are ahead of me. Ugh. That sucks. I actually had to uh, double click on accelerate to get the car moving again after smashing into that wall. Alright. So two more laps to go. Hmm, that wasn't good. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get first place on this one. Oh well. I was doing pretty good for a little while there. There we go. So yeah, this is the first time I've ever played Daytona USA. There's obviously a lot more for me to learn, but I I do enjoy it. A true arcade experience. I've always actually wanted this game in my collection, but I see on eBay like it always it's usually high in price. Um, it may not be complete ETC. Uh, I don't have a complete version of this game. I paid five dollars to get this game. Uh, Sega Touring uh, Championship, I think that's what it's called. I haven't really tried that game out yet, but I want to give that a go because uh, I don't know if it got good reviews or not. I don't want to try that out. But uh, yeah, I got a couple of games for about five bucks. Now the main issue with the CD that I got, the lady had said, oh, it perfectly works fine. The thing is, though, the data works fine. I don't think she realized the, the audio part was broken. They were nice people, so I'm not going to complain uh, about what I paid for and what I lost. But uh, with that being said, I own the game. I just downloaded a uh, an ISO just so I can get the CDDA audio. The data here is of my copy. There you go. I really sucked at that track there, but 
Uh, what can you do? So yeah, you can see a little bit of the glitches here and there in the tires. You can see the light, um, the polygonal. I guess that's a glare off the uh, off the tires there. All right, um, I did get first place on the high scoreboard using the word ass. Yeah, you know, you like to have a little bit of fun. As you can see, that was by me. All right, so let's try another track here. I really like the Oceanside track, so we're going to use daytime on that. I'm going to try a different car here. We'll try the Oriole track. And I'm, I'm not very good with configuring the car. Sorry about that. I just got right in there. You know, the funny thing about this game, though, is... Um, on the left side, the number of the car can be seen at its right side, 16. And on the right side of the car, it's backwards. I, I guess it was just a bad copy and paste job. It's either that or maybe it just doesn't work too well on, on Windows 10. I don't know. Okay. I'm not doing too bad. All right. 16 place so far. This turn I always have trouble on. Uh, okay, not very good there either. Yeah, so apparently this is comparable to the Saturn version. I do not have a Sega Saturn, nor obviously this game for Sega Saturn. But the issue they have in the game is pop-in. And apparently that is fixed up a lot better in the PC version. I see a little bit of pop in here and there, but uh, nonetheless, it's you know it's working pretty good. All right, I I like the uh, the window effect there. That's kind of cool. Hopefully, I can get first place on on this track using this car. I I seem to be doing pretty good here. Ugh, that's bad. Oh well, those other cars aren't too far away from me. Yeah, I tried playing this game on normal, and perhaps that's the reason why uh, I had a lot more difficult time. Obviously, the AI is uh, going to be a lot harder. Ooh, that was bad. Perhaps I should have done that turn a lot better with the, uh, the brake. All right. We are now on the final lap. Can I get first place? I don't know. I'm somewhat doubting it. I'm not the greatest at this game here. Okay. Well, we've got third place, second place. Now, hopefully, uh, you know, Sega ain't gonna give me sh crap here for using the music in this um, video. It's very hard to realize or know what's copyrighted content you're gonna get in trouble for. My voice is overplaying the music, so, like, you're not going to obviously get enjoyment out of the music while I do a review here. All right, first place. Great. All right. Uh, can we make sure to stay on the track here? Okay. But I think you understand what I'm trying to say about the whole music thing. I think it's crazy that uh, companies will get you in trouble for including music in a review video. Like, you can't really hear it, so why are you complaining for? As you can see, the uh, ick detection there is a little odd. I mean, I guess that's the issue you get with these sort of old games. Doing pretty good. Again, second place is a little far behind. The only complaint I have about this game regarding the map, um, you can't see where the, the finish line is or any of the checkpoints. It would be kind of cool at least to have a the uh, the finishing point there on the screen, but no, they they don't. I think I might actually get first place on this. This would be a first. That turn went a lot better this time. And there we go! Yay! First place! Finally! Cool! Alright, so like, this is basically all I wanted to show you guys. Um, yeah, this is Daytona USA Deluxe. It's totally awesome. 
there's apparently a multiplayer mode. I obviously can't test that because I don't have somebody else to play with. And as far as that goes, I don't know if a uh, second player can use a controller along with you. Uh, you may be able to use the keyboard for second player, but I'm not totally sure. Ah, cool. Yeah, so I'm on the board there, number one. But uh, yeah, so there's that. And then apparently in the options, there's uh, another multiplayer mode. No, I'm not sure if this game had online multiplayer, but I suppose at this point now, the multiplayer would be pretty much dead. So, hey, uh, yeah, all I have to say is that's that's the video. I wasn't even sure if I really wanted to do this or not. I hope uh, I get some likes, uh, comment, you know, if you like what you see, give me a subscribe, ETC. And I really hope uh, Sega doesn't give me a, you know, a nice little flag because this is for Sega, really. This game needs to be re-released on PC or at least a maybe remaster that would be kind of cool so yeah i'm just gonna leave it at that now uh thanks for watching and we'll see you again goodbye for now